Hello, I am contestant 2758 and we're going to be making white braided bread. So first we're going to measure out the yeast. For the yeast we're going to need 0.4 ounces. 4 ounces. And next we're going to measure in our water. 10.4 ounces for this. Temperature of the water should be around 105. We're gonna whisk in our yeast mixture. So this mixture so that it could bloom. Next we're gonna start measuring our other ingredients. 0.36 ounces of salt. 0.8 ounces of sugar. 0.8 ounces of milk powder. We're going to need 0.5 ounces. Then we're going to measure in our bread flour. 16 ounces, which is one pound of bread flour. And with that, we've measured all our ingredients. We're going to mix all of our ingredients inside. Now we're in the making of making our dough. So we're going to add in all of our ingredients in this giant bowl. Make sure everything is incorporated into the dough. need to get elasticity in the dough. I'm going to cover it with a rag. I cut the dough into even portions and now we're in the process of braiding and kneading the bread into even strips. We're going to pinch the tops together, this side, over, this side, and we're going to spray the pan, and then we're going to place our loaves on top, and after that we're going to butter them. My bread has finished proofing, and I'm going to take it to the oven for 350 degrees. So next we're going to be doing our sugar cookie recipe. So we're going to need sugar, salt, butter, eggs, vanilla, bread flour, and baking powder. We're going to need 10 ounces of sugar. We got our 10 ounces here. We're going to need 0.14 of salt, 0.42 of baking powder. We're going to need 0.15 of vanilla. For bread flour, we're going to need one pound and one ounce. We're going to crack our eggs. We're going to need 3.3 .3 ounces of eggs. Now we're going to do our butter. Ready? Now we're going to measure our 8 ounces of butter. All of our ingredients measured. First, we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. Once it's cream, we're going to add the vanilla and the eggs. And then the flour. Once 
once your dough is not crumbly, like this, it's done. My dough has finished chilling, and now I'm going to roll it to one quarter inch thick to cut out my cookies. I floured the cookie cutters so that they won't stick to the dough. I'm going to carefully place them on our cookie sheet. And we're done. My cookies are now ready for the